In the Cambrian Seas, about half a billion years ago, an indisputable ruler was Anomalocaris. It was a giant of his time, reaching a meter or three feet in length. His impressive grasping appendages, similar to flexible claws, were an ideal weapon to capture prey. A round mouth with sharp plates easily grinded the shells of trilobites and other invertebrates. Zreeping to the victim, thanks to excellent vision, the Anomalocaris rushed forward sharply. Grabbing the helpless prey with his mighty appendages, after which it ruthlessly grinded its hard cover. This ancient predator has forever changed the rules of survival. Turning the Cambrian Ocean into a place of brutal struggle for life and starting a real evolutionary arms race. Dimetrodon, being one of the main predators of the early Perm period, hunted mainly on other inhabitants of coastal swamps and reservoirs of that time. Its prey was large amphibians, for example, Ereps, fish, such as Xenocon, as well as the smaller or young individuals of the Pelicosols related to him, for example, Edifosaurs. Thanks to powerful jaws and sharp teeth of different sizes, Dimetrodon could effectively attack and hold the victim, often in wait for it in water or in shallow water. Opabia. This is one of the most unusual predators of the Cambrian period. A creature of no more than a human palm had a five eyes and a unique grasping trunk with tenacious claws at the end. Smoothly moving above the bottom of the ancient seas, Opabi looked out for small invertebrates hidden in silt. Noticing the booty, she lightly threw her flexible proboscis, grabbing the victim tenaciously and quickly sent it right into her mouth. Herdia. The cruel hunter of the Cambrian period and the closest relative of the famous Anomalocaris. This creature, armed with a massive head shield and strong, grasping appendages, reached the size of up to 60 centimeters or 23 inches. Thanks to the sharp vision and powerful jaws, Curtia tracked down large invertebrates, such as trilobites and sea worms. She quickly attacked the prey, capturing it with tenacious limbs and ruthlessly grinding shells. Herdia was the embodiment of Cambrian horror. This is a real sea predator that made the evolution move forward. Xenusia. The amazing and bizarre creation of the Cambrian seas similar simultaneously to a worm and arthropod. Small, about 5 centimeters or about 2 inches in length, it was covered with sharp spikes that protected from attacks and helped to keep small invertebrates. Xenuria slowly moved along the seabed, patiently looking for prey among silt and algae. Noticing the victim, she suddenly rushed forward, grabbing the prey of St. Omi tenacious limbs and piercing it with sharp spikes. Paytoy. A strange, disc-shaped hunter of the ancient Cambrian seas, reminiscent of a floating pineapple with sharp mouth appendages. Without exceeding 15 centimeters or 6 inches in length, it slowly moved in water, looking for small prey and plankton. Her round, radially located jaws served a trap for invertebrates, which accidentally fell into the zone of her hunting. Instantly slamming her sharp plates, the Paytoy effectively seized prey, turning peaceful plankton into a nutrient lunch. This Cambrian hunter perfectly combined filtration and active predation. Trilobites. The most successful and numerous creatures of the Cambrian period. Among them were real hunters, such as Olenoids. These arthropods possess strong shells, excellent vision and tenacious limbs, which allowed to rapidly overtake prey. They hunted small worms, primitive crustaceans and other invertebrates, quickly grabbing them with their powerful front paws and grinding them with rotary appendages. The trilobites did not just survive, they dominated the ancient seas, setting the pace of the Cambrian arms race. Camaracris. The giant sea predator of the Ordovician period. The real lord of the ancient oceans, which reached a length of up to 10 meters or 32 feet. 
Possessing a huge cone-shaped shell and powerful tentacles, he laid the prey from the ambush. His victims were trilobites, early cephalopods and primitive fish. Grabbing the prey with a swift movement of the tentacles, Kamarakras easily crushed her shell with his sharp, coracious jaws, leaving no chances to the victims. In the Ordovician seas, a cruel struggle for survival reigned. Ortakras, a quick and agile hunter with a straight pointed shell, used reactive movement, rapidly catching up with small fish and arthropods, capturing them with tenacious tentacles and tearing with sharp jaws. Megalograptus, a ferocious rachoscorpion, lurked in an ambush on the seabed. Armed with long extremities with sharp claws, he grabbed prey, trilobites and other small creatures, tearing their strong shells. Isotelus, giant trilobitus, was both a predator and a center. Slowly moving along the bottom, he hunted worms and small invertebrates, grabbing them with strong front limbs and grinding with powerful mouth organs. These Ordovician hunters determined the rules of the ancient seas and gave impetus to the development of many new forms of life. The Silurian period turned the oceans and the first lands of the planet into the arena for a brutal battle for survival. In these ancient waters, the Pitraspis lived. This is an armored fish with a powerful head shield and a mobile body, perfectly adapting wrapped in active hunting. He rapidly pursued small marine invertebrates, sucking the prey with a quick movement of the body and protecting himself with strong armor from other predators. But real horror lurked slightly above the food chain. Eurypterides, known as Rakuscocorpions, reached giant sizes, up to 2.5 meters or 8 feet in length. Their largest representative, the Phrygidus, armed with powerful claws, mercilessly broke the trilobites and captured the early fish, pursuing them in a quick and merciless pursuit. On land, a meter giant scorpion named Briton Scorpio began his journey. His weapon was strong claws and a deadly poisonous sting. Lasting the prey in an ambush, the Brontoscorpio inflicted an accurate injection, paralyzing the victim in a matter of moments, after which he calmly proceeded to the meal. Meanwhile, in the water, among corals and sea thickets, Burkanya deftly hunted. A small biceless fish, rapidly rushing to small invertebrates, capturing them with a suction and quick jerks of their flexible body. Finally, the climate armed with spikes patrolled the shallow water, where in sharp attacks he hit his prey, small fish and invertebrates. His spiked body served both protection from large predators and weapons of attack. These predators ruled Silurian ecosystems, forcing other creatures to adapt, evolve and improve their protection mechanisms. Their merciless hunt formed a world in which the victory gets the strongest, fast and cunning. In the Devonian Ocean, full of life and new forms, the top of the food chain was firmly occupied by Dunkleo. Superhigant reaching 9 meters or 29 feet in length. His massive head was covered with bone-armored plastins, and instead of teeth, bone plates are sharp, like razors, closed with monstrous power. He attacked at a lightning speed, there was enough one bite to crush the shell of the victim. Its prey became fish, mollusks and even other predators. He did not spare anyone, even relatives. Cladosolachi quickly flashed nearby. An early shark, devoid of scales, with a streamlined body and developed sensory organs. Her hunt was a matter of accuracy and speed. She overtook small fish and squid-like creatures, sharply rushing forward and capturing the prey with sharp teeth. And her strange relative followed her. Stethacanthus, a shark with a bizarre anti-wing on the back. He was slower, but more cunning. Probably masked and hunted from an ambush, abruptly rushing at the careless inhabitants of the reef. Pandorikes was hidden in coastal shallow water. 
fish with a flat body and eyes looking up. He hunted small fish and water invertebrates, creeping down from below and firing sharply to the target. It was an ambush neek, idealna prispasobli ni kahotiv teni votorously e karak. And in fresh ponds, ye katopterus was hunting. This is a gigantic Rakoscorpio up to 2.5 meters or 8 feet long. He used his claws to grab fish and other arthropods, quickly tearing them into pieces. His grip left no chance. Liptory fish hunted on the verge of water and land. Use the Nopteron and Tictalic. Their fleshy fins allowed to crawl along the bottom and even partially go on land. They laid the prey in coastal mud worms, crustaceans and small fish, and abruptly attacked, using powerful jaws. These predators were not just hunters. They became a bridge between life in the water and the conquest of land. Carboniferous period. This is the time when the earth was breathing with a wet steam of swamps, and the air was saturated with oxygen, as if preparing to fuel giants. Among dense forests and dark ponds, strange, Frightening predators roamed. Megarina, massive arthropod with thick armor and claws, glided along the bottom of reservoirs. Despite the long standing confusion with the spiders, it was a watercourse. His hunting strategy is patient. He buried in silt until the prey passed. Larvae, mollusk or small fish. With lightning accuracy, he attacked, grabbing the victim with sharp appendages. On land, an arthropus rack imposingly. Colossus more than 2 meters or 6 feet. Although it mainly ate vegetation, in conditions of lack of food could become omnivorous. Soft animals, larvae, eggs and the rest of the trifle. All this could become an easy prey of its powerful jaws. In gloomy thickets, she reigned, like an armored train, not meeting equal. In the air, the heaven of Meganera cuts in the air with a whistle. This is a giant dragonfly with a wingspan up to 70 centimeters or 27 inches. Her huge eyes gave a panoramic review, and paws with spikes grabbed prey directly in the flight. She caught small insects, butterflies, spiders, and even young amphibians with surgical accuracy, turning air into the arena of quick and merciless hunt. Iriops lurked off the coast of the swamps, a two-meter predatory amphibian with powerful paws and a wide mouth. Irio's length 6 feet and this is also not bad. Having sewed in the coastal tin, he was waiting for the victim, fish, insect or small animal, and the predator rushed with a swift jerk. His teeth were sharp and reliable. One grip, and prey disappeared in the throat. Finally, the first reptiles and stegocephals, such as Hylonomus, scurried about the undergrowth. Their advantage, dexterity, speed and sharp teeth, they hunted everything that was placed in their mouths. Zhukov, worms, larvae, quickly running along the bark of trees and among the foliage. They used vision and instinct for an accurate attack. This was the first great hunting on land. The beginning of the era of ground predators. The perm period became the time when the predators finally went to land and took under control. And in a later perm, a real monster appeared. Foreign expenses, representative of the Gorgonops. Up to 3.5 meters or 11 feet in length, with saber-shaped fangs, he was the supreme predator of the late perm world. He could bite even a dense skin of large herbivores, such as pariasaurs. His hunt was swift. A sharp throw, a powerful bite in the throat, and the victim fell to the ground without a chance of salvation. In the crevices of stones and among the undergrowth, a pulmata scorpion was hidden a giant scorpion up to 70 centimeters or 27 inches. He was a night hunter, hunting for insects, worms and even small vertebrates. His strong claws held the victim, and the poisonous sting dealt a mortal blow. The ambush was his main weapon. Meanwhile, Seamuria, the transitional form between amphibians and reptiles, hunted both on land and near reservoirs. She ate insects, small lizards and worms. Fast, flexible, with sharp teeth, Seamuria rapidly attacked the prey, grabbing it from a short distance. Among the more mobile predators, 
Varanup stood out. Long-legged, clever hunter. He could run, climb and actively chase prey. These were lizards, amphibians and young animals of other animals. He hunted during the day, with excellent vision and quick reactions. So in the perm world the first real sushi hunters formed, whose descendants will once become animals, dinosaurs, and us. We watched the video, put your finger up and leave the comments, subscribe to the channel right now, do not forget about the bell so as not to miss new and interesting videos from the channel.